Hello and welcome to Breezy Chatter. Today I'm going to be talking about the bold and the beautiful, but first and foremost, thank you to those who have subscribed to my channel. Your subscription is highly appreciated and let's get started. So this week was quite interesting. Uh, we had, we have Steffi and Finn having a double date with RJ and Luna. And it seems like Luna is very well received by everybody in the Forrester family. The only person who's trying to push Luna out right now is Lee. And if the Foresters have their way, Luna will be at Forrester permanently because RJ is certainly smitten and everyone is loving the connection between RJ and Luna. We also have Brooke talking to Thomas and trying to convince him to get out of this relationship of sorts with her daughter because it's only a matter of time before Hope breaks his heart. She keeps trying to tell Thomas that Hope does not love him and she's pretty much using him and he shouldn't want something like that for himself. And of course, at the same time, she doesn't want the likes of Thomas paired up with her daughter. And although Brooke said her piece, Thomas respectfully listened, but told her that he's going to continue to see Hope as long as she will allow it. We have Liam paying a visit to Hope at the cabin, dropping off a sleeping bag uh, that Beth left. And she's all jazzed up. She's got on her lingerie. She's getting ready for her night. So when she runs to the door, she's thinking it's Thomas and it happens to be Liam. And when he sees her in her lingerie and he hears her call out Thomas's name, He's in shock. Liam actually thought that the connection between Thomas and Hope was just a fleeting one, but he couldn't be more wrong. Liam was beyond shocked to see Hope all dressed up in her lingerie, looking sexy and preparing herself to have an amazing night with Thomas. He had to ask her if she was forgetting all that Thomas has put them through, the role he played in Beth's disappearance and keeping the secret and According to Liam, if it was up to Thomas, they would never have reclaimed their daughter. And although Hope knows that that is true, that Thomas had information that he could have shared with them and he didn't, she also knows that Thomas is a changed man and she's all but told Liam that. And Liam's not trying to hear it. He's going to continue to remind her of the role he played in Beth's disappearance and how he was not helpful to them. But Hope did tell Liam that she wants to be with Thomas because he's loyal to her and he cares about her, genuinely. He's not flip-flopping between two women. He's not treating her as an option the way Liam does when it comes to her and Steffi. And Hope told Liam that he threw their marriage away and she's sick and tired of him running to Steffi when things go wrong in their marriage. And Liam really had no defense. All he could say is that he told her uh, to stop working with Thomas. So in his mind, this is all her fault. They're broken up because she didn't listen to his request to stop working with Thomas. And he did ask her if she was open to having a child with Thomas. And he was beyond shocked when she said, well, I certainly wouldn't want to have a child with you. He was totally not expecting that. And of course, Thomas came in while they were talking, but not before he overheard Hope letting Liam know that she loves Thomas because he loves her for who she is and he actually knows who she is. Liam was standing there watching Thomas and Hope hugging and he just looked so out of place. He was way out of line to be in there thinking that he could tell Hope what to do with her time and with whom to do it with, to even ask her if she was using birth control. That is just way, way out of pocket. And I was glad that Hope stood up for herself and she told him in so many words that their ship has sailed. It's over. She doesn't want anything with him. She doesn't want any children with him. And she's tired of being with someone who treats her like an option. But what was kind of creepy about the whole thing is that you have Liam thinking that he has the right to dictate Hope's life. And on top of that, he tried to play the I still love you card. Although we know like a couple of days earlier, he was in Steffi's face saying the exact same thing. So while Thomas has been doing the work and trying to improve upon himself, 
we have a Liam who's been getting away with being the same old trash can of a person. And now he is by himself. He has the two loves of his life that he's been playing against each other. And they are both involved with men that are devoted to them. And he is on the outskirts. He's on the outside looking in and looking at how happy they are to be with men that actually care about them and put them first. So it's going to be interesting to see what the writers have in store for Liam in the future because it's certainly not going to be any reunion with Hope or Steffi. I am so looking forward to seeing what's going to happen with Liam. And that is my commentary. If you liked it, hit like, subscribe, and leave comments. Thank you for your time. Until next time, ta-ta.